So 22 years ago, um, John Reynolds um, went to his work at a scrap metal yard. His wife was expecting him home um, in about midday. They were going to go out and buy a washing machine. He didn't arrive home, so his wife contacted his brother, Michael, who subsequently went down to the yard and found John deceased inside the building. He'd been the victim of a vicious attack and as a result, the police were called. This 44 gallon drums and tarpaulins, this crap all over the place, you know. And I sort of, this stage, I was worried. So I was looking for him. And it was only when I was coming to go out the door again that I actually saw him because I was coming back and he was in my torchlight. I saw him on the floor, lying on the floor, head smashed in, pool of blood, you know. There are a number of people who are persons of interest in relation to this inquiry and Ben Johnson is one of them, um, but I can't comment any further on him. I remember very clearly Russell saying to me, he said, he said, I asked Ben Johnson whether he murdered John the Pom. And Ben Johnson said to him, he said, no, I didn't. He said, but I'm quite capable of it. He swore to the day he died that Ben Johnson was the man that did it. Kent Gorry's another one. Uh... In, in that same boat, where does he sit? That's correct, um, he's, he's also a person of interest um, who hasn't been eliminated like a lot of others in this inquiry. I, I had nothing to do with it, and that's just the honest truth. You know, like, I had my part in murdering the man, but I didn't have any part in it. And um, I you know, I, I, I couldn't tell someone. What do you remember of that day uh, on, you know, April 28, 1996? Yeah, well, I was babysitting for my grandchildren down at Gladstone, and Michael had to ring around to get a hold of me because he didn't know where I was. And the guy next door finally got a hold of me and I decided to ring Michael, so I did. And, oh, are you sitting down? Oh, this is what I did. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, it was just, it was just such a shock. It's, it's something you just don't get over. <laughs> you know, if somebody's sick and they die, you think, oh, well, you know, you're expecting it. But when they're just, and they're just taken like that. You know, it was absolute waste. A waste of a life. I would love to solve this murder, but we need help from others. The police can't solve it on their own. Um, we need people to come forward with any information, um, whether it be anonymously or not. Um, we just want people to come forward because we can't do it on our own, we need the community to help us. Do you have a message for the killer? I just don't know how you sleep at night. I just don't know how you sleep.